Hi, in this video you will learn how to edit percentage completion infographics in our graph templates. First, let us take a quick look at the different types of percentage completion infographics available in our templates pack. As you can see here, there are eight different options available. Now let us see how exactly to edit these. This template shows level of fill as a percentage. To edit this, all I need to do is to go to the specific chart, right click, go to edit data and say instead of 62%, I want to show just say 40% completion. I can do that. You can see that there is already a change made here. So that is how I edit this type of a chart template. The same thing works for this one as well. Even though these ones look so beautiful, they are absolutely editable. So here it shows 54% completion. If I want to say 80% completion, I can automatically show this just by saying, just by changing one number, you can see how this beautiful template gets automatically updated. The same thing works for this one as well. As you can see that there are six different bars here in this battery charge scale. Now, if I want to change this, I can go to edit data and instead of six, if I want to say eight, I can do that and you can see automatically there are totally eight bars instead of the six that we had earlier. And the same thing works for this one as well. You can always click on this and make the change in this injection gauge. Same thing holds good for this one as well. Let us say this one is a sand clock which shows per percentage completion and instead of 66% as the percentage completion, if I want to change this to say the finished percentage is say 25%, you can see that 75% is still not completed and 25% is completed and you can see that the whole chart automatically gets changed. Now, as we have done earlier, we are only going to make our changes to this yellow cell and never to these gray cells. Let us go forward. This one shows percentage completion of different projects shown in terms of different bottles. Now, if I want to make change to this one, go to edit data. So instead of 25%, if I want to show that project three is completed to around 75%, I can do that and you can see the change here. The beauty is sometimes things that look almost unbelievable like this one are also completely editable. Only that you may have to make changes here manually. Now let me show you what I mean by this. Let us try to change the percentage loaded in truck here. So I'm going to right click here, go to edit data. And here, as you can see, it is 65%. Now I want to represent this as say 41%. As soon as I do that, you can see the whole thing is recalculated 41%. If I want to make this as say 59%, Automatically, it is made as 59. And if I want to make this as 85, automatically it is done as 85. So each time I make the change here, this change is automatically made. I just need to go here and make that change. That is it. It's, it's that simple to come up with slides that look as attractive as this because these are actually data-driven templates. Now let us go further. This one is the same version as the previous one, only that this has a vertical orientation which shows percentage completion. As I have done in the earlier case, I'm going to click on this, go to right click, edit data. And here I'm showing 55% as the percentage completion. Instead of 55%, if I want to show, just say 30%, you can see that only those set of columns are shown in red and the rest is shown in gray. The same as I did before earlier, if I want to say 75%, you can see the change. Even if it is very odd number, like say 43, you can see that there is a change made here. So that is how this set of percentage completion charts work. As you can see, there are so many different beautiful options to show percentage completion. You can use these charts whenever you want to add a bit of spice to your PowerPoint presentation slides. Hope you really like this video that shows you how to edit our percentage completion charts. In the next video, I'll show you another set of chart templates and how to edit them. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.